everyone and welcome to my channel and Oliver wanted to be a part of this one today. Um, this is a bit of a random haul. If I haven't shopped in one particular place this week, it's kind of been here, there and everywhere, but I thought it'd be really cool to show you what I've got. So me and Oliver, well Oliver's probably gonna go now, but we're gonna show you what I got this week. So here we go. Now the first item that I got was from ASOS and I've been looking for a pair of these jeans for Ever. Every time I try and go to ASOS to buy them in my size and they're never in stock. So when I found them, the next dilemma was do I get them with ripped knees or not ripped knees? Um, so I ended up getting them with the ripped knees. They are the Farley jeans um, and I got them in a size 26 waist and 30 leg. But I really like the light wash denim and the ripped knees look really cool. I'm into the ripped knee thing at the moment as well. But I've heard amazing things about the fit of these, but they fit really, really well. So I'm hoping and praying that they fit me. Denim's so hard to fit and I'm only five foot three too. So I don't know whether the 30 leg um, is going to be okay. There wasn't any 29 inch, so... I'll have to see. So these are the ASOS jeans. I've got them in a size 26 inch waist and I probably should have got the size down. And um, they are a little bit roomy, but they don't look huge. They're really comfy. So I probably should put a little skinny belt on there or something. And yeah, I love the light wash denim, the ripped knee detail. I just think that they're a super flattering cut. They're really high waisted, which I love. And the back as well, I think it's really, really flattering. Um, yeah, just a straight cut pair of jeans. That's what I was looking for. I don't have anything in my wardrobe like that. And these are super comfy. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. I'm gonna keep them. The next item is from Topshop, but it is actually Adidas. I saw this one and I didn't really need it, but I couldn't resist. And it's just this gray um, tee t-shirt but it's really soft and I think now we're going into spring hopefully soon um the gray is really really nice I basically go for a lot of black normally and I did try a black one on with the big logo at the front but I went for this one in the end I'm really really happy I did it the fit um I'm going to show you in a minute it's really really nice it's not too oversized and I got this one in a size eight simple classic grey and white, a uh, little logo, um, just quite oversized. I got this in a size 8 um, and I'm really happy with the way it fits. It's not too fitted and it's not too oversized. So needs an iron. <laughs> but for the whole purposes, I just thought I'd throw it on and show you what it looks like. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Next are two pairs of shoes from one of my favourites, probably my favourite place to shop at the moment for shoes, I like Public Desire. These ones I've actually bought quite early on. I wanted to get them for a friend's wedding in June. Yeah, I know. But with weddings, I like to have my outfit planned like a couple of months before because I hate being that person that is rushing around buying 50 million dresses online on them fit and you're stressing out. So I've actually started my shopping for the wedding now and I found the dress and I found the shoes but I'm not going to reveal the dress just yet um, it's going to be a surprise I absolutely love it and these were the shoes that I got to go with it they're a pink uh, pale pink suede peep toe platform and they are so nice they go perfect with my dress and they are so comfy that I got them in the sale I think I got them for $14.99 or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. But I'm going to link a picture to show you what they look like. But I absolutely love these. And I'm so excited to wear them. I've got to try and be good though now. and put them in the box and put them away in the wardrobe till June. Because I don't want to ruin them. They're for the wedding, Joanna. They're for the wedding. <laughs> The next pair of shoes that I got from Public Desire were these over-the-knee sock boots. They are peep toe and they've got um, a cut out at the heel as well. The fabric is so nice, so, so soft. But what I really like about these is that they've got the tie lace and you can actually tie them as tight as you want them on your thigh and then tie them in a bow so they they're not going to go anywhere they're super super tight i find it really hard to get over the knee boots oh, hello i find it really hard to get over the knee boots uh, that fit really tight on your leg but these ones are amazing and i went for the black heel they do do these exact boots with a wooden heel but i went for the plain black and i'm really glad i did now um, i just like that whole black silhouette so 
Yes, and I actually got these, they were doing a £20 over the knee boot sale the other day. I think they're normally £44.99. I'll link them below, so check it out. The sale might still be on, but £20? Oh, I love you, Public Desire. <laughs> oh my God. So my next purchase was these amazing Doc Martens. Now I've been a Doc Martin lover for years and when I saw these, I you don't even know what extent I went to try and get hold of them. Every Doc Martin shop was sold out in my size. I nearly opted to go for the boot version, although I didn't really want the boots, I really wanted the brogues. And I ended up finding them from um, an independent retailer in Chesterfield online and they are these. Oh my God! They are literally probably my most favourite pair of Doc Martens that I've ever owned. I was took these to Paris and everyone just kept staring at them and a woman in a vintage shop came running over to me. She didn't speak any English, but she was trying to tell me how much she loved my shoes. I wear a lot of black and these just give your outfit that pop that you need, like a statement shoe. These are amazing. I'll link them below. They were £105, I believe, I think I paid for them. But these, you know, you can't go wrong with Doc Martens. They're going to be worn and worn and worn and worn. And even over time, they're still going to look amazing. They're so cool. I love Doc Martens. I got this in a size 4. That's what size I usually go for in a Doc Martin. But, you know, sometimes when you when you get brand new Doc Martins, you're not sure whether they're going to take a bit of a while to get broken in. These are a little bit big, but I don't actually care. I'm never, ever letting these out of my sight. And also, they don't rub. They really don't rub. I wore them for two whole days walking around Paris, and they were so comfy. So, yeah, my little heart broke. I love you. I'm sad I have, but these are just amazing they are a bit dirty from walk around paris but um yeah i'm gonna have you shoes for a very long time i love you <laughs> and talking of paris i found the most amazing jacket in this vintage shop so my friend alice um she was working in paris for about five six months and she told me to go to this vintage shop called free p star it was only 15 euros as well but it's an old vintage um, Lee jacket and it's got some really cool um, details on it like the gossip by Lee these little like patches it's got the pockets with the cool um, cool buttons and a, a lining that's really really warm lining obviously it's vintage so it is quite worn looking but I absolutely love the fit yeah it's just really really cool bomber jacket style and with the puffy sleeves very um cool i just love it absolutely love it i love that it's that kind of like puffy sort of sleeves and the back is super cool as well um i love all these like pocket details here and it's really really warm with this um sort of lining inside as well so i love this one this was a Deal. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. I have loads more videos to come. Travel videos, lookbook videos, and also I've just recently uploaded my Parisian blog. <laughs> thank you all so much for the support so far with this channel. It's still very, very new, but I'm really excited of what's to come. So thank you and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah!